How are you, JB? I am great. Always How great to see you here, man. Always great to see you here. How's life? How's everything? Life? Everything is well. Everybody's no complaints good. out of me. Everybody's doing well. Everybody's family. good. You're back. You're here in the Midwest, right, Mr. I am. Detroit? Here you are in the Upper Midwest. It's neat seeing the Super Bowl here. I mean, yeah, the, it's yeah. interesting. Well, I mean, it's one of those. Because it's cold. Is it cold? Is it too it, cold for you? It is a little cold. I, I think the NFL mm -hmm. uh, has always tried to incorporate, you know, outdoor activities yes. with play sixty. For exactly. Instance. So it's a little challenging. Except this when... week, it's play mi play minus sixty. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's a little. It's, a little it, it, it's not difficult. It's challenging. <laughs> is the word. And you're part of the Land O'Lakes Farm Bowl that's coming up tomorrow, right here in the afternoon, um, and you're going to do it outdoors. It's unbelievable. Oh, no, wait a minute. You're not. It's, it's You're at not. the 3M arena. arena at, it's the hockey arena yep. at the University of Minnesota. At the University of Minnesota. You and Luke Keekley, Kyle Rudolph, Golden Tate, who I saw last night, Golden Domer. Uh, Greg Jennings, Jason Brown, you're going to be out there um, just taking on each other, right? For Absolutely. Stephon Diggs is Stephon also going to be involved as well. And okay. so we're going to get with farmers. Yes. And we're going to be partnered up, and we're going to do these 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 competitive challenges um, that have a farm theme to them. Okay. So like bales of hay and dr drone drops and okay. things like that. So it'll be pretty interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to it because I have n I'm not a, a farmer a by nature. I'm from Detroit, mm -hmm. and all I know is concrete. So for me to um, to be involved in this, it's um, it's been an experience, a learning experience for oh, me as well. That's neat, man. That's neat. Well, you know what's going down tonight? Uh, we have an annual tradition here at the Rich Eisen Show. Oh yeah, where we choose a night, okay. the whole group goes out bowling. Ooh. Right. Do okay. You, are you free tonight? <sighs> I need my to I need my ball. See, uh, yeah. hey, come See, on. I'm not, come on, I'm not a, just a casual bowler. Oh, let's just go to the lanes. I'll pick a ball and, and play. No. Now, now hold not. on a second, just to because I will come to Jerome Bettis's defense. <laughs> when NFL Network launched okay. in 2003, as soon as the season ended, we were joined in studio. First player to join the NFL Network in studio for extended days as a guest on NFL Total Access was yes. <laughs> this man, Jerome Bettis. And we decided, let's do stuff that Jerome likes to do. We knew you liked to bowl. And we told Jerome, we're going to go bowling. And he goes, I don't have my ball. I don't have my shoes. And you had it shipped out. Absolutely. Before we even went to go <laughs> shoot the piece. It's dedication, Holmes. <laughs> Come on. It's now. only one Come way on. to bowl. I mean, if you're a bowler, you don't go and just just, you know, you know, rent some shoes and get a ball. You want to bowl. And so, well, you know, yeah, the, I mean, the hardest thing for me is to throw a straight ball and and you know, you can't one just pick up balls. one of those balls. No. Just you just any, you know. It just it doesn't work. I mean, you know, it's like it, it's like an artist and you give him a crayon. He doesn't really want to <laughs> draw with a crayon. <laughs> you know what I mean? He don't want to draw with a crayon. He's wow. like, oh, really? So really, it's like you know, I'm Is a five year old. Like? If I'm if I pick up one of those balls, it just doesn't. How doesn't many? Work. How many three hundred games? I have one three hundred to get some uh, two ninety nines, a bunch of two seventy. What do you mean two ninety nine? Oh, how does that I got happen? Two ninety nine. I got the last pin. I hit a nine. I'm, I, oh. I threw it in the pocket. I did everything that I, I was supposed to do. I did my part. Uh, how long do you stare I, at I, that I pin? How long oh. do you stare at that pin? Um, you can imagine the disappointment. I was sick. I was like physically sick about that because you do all of that and you get to the last frame. Right. You roll it and you're like, oh, that's it. It's perfect. What's tougher, rolling the 300 or or playing in the NFL? Ooh. What's Playing tougher? in the NFL is tougher. Okay. Because of because nobody's uh, coming to contact yeah. you as you're going well, to it takes, uh, the Brooklyn it, side. It takes a lot longer <laughs> to get to the NFL. To get to the NFL part is yeah. the hard part. Right. Um, rolling the 300, you you can do that and still be uh, a, a good bowler, not a great bowler. Gotcha. Pro Football Hall of Famer Jerome Bettis here. How do you see Super Bowl 52 playing out, sir? <sighs> I think the quarterback has to to win the game. Uh, if you're the Eagles, mm -hmm. I think if you look, you look at, you know, Blake Bortles, you know, he, a, a third and six, you know, mm -hmm. second quarter, you take a mm -hmm. delay a game penalty, causes them to go out, mm -hmm. go down, score, get a, get a 10-point game in half, and mm -hmm. then go out and win the game in the second half. Then you look at Matt Ryan, takes a sack uh, when you just can't take one. If the quarterback makes the mistake, they're going to win the game.
and the quarterback has to win the game for the opposing team, whoever that is that's playing the Patriots. So I think Nick Foles has to win the game for them. And it's not necessarily with an incredible performance, but he can't make that mistake that's going to give the Patriots another opportunity. Okay. And how do you think this is going to play out with Le'Veon Bell? If anybody knows the business of this league, it's definitely you. And you know the Steelers as well. How's this playing out with Le'Veon Bell? You think? I, I would, I would think if I was, if I was working with uh, Le- Le'Veon, I would tell him you have to understand their sticking points. And so, from the Steelers' standpoint, thirty years old is kind of like their number. They. It's the law of diminishing returns for them after you're 30 years old. So if you know that, and, it, and if I'm laying out, I'm saying I'm 27, I got three three really more productive years, mm-hmm. I want to capitalize on those. So I want to get as much money as I can get in those first three years. And then those last two, you can give me what you want to give me, but those first three, I need to have 50, whatever it is, 60, whatever it is, I need to get that in the first three years that we can make a deal work and I can be there. And I think that also it goes in line with Ben Roethlisberger. I think three years is, is he has that window of being an elite quarterback uh, for another three years and keeping that group together. Well, do you think if Le'Veon takes the approach of precedent – setting the precedence setting deal as in not just the highest paid for running back. Like he wants to see, he saw what Alex Smith just got from Washington and wants something close to that. Do you think that the Steelers are of mind to set a precedence? No, something like that? I, I, I don't think, I don't think it's possible because of the other players that you have on the, on the team. You have arguably the best receiver in the game, period. Um, at, the wide receiver position. Yes, you are arguably the best running back at your position as well. And the president wasn't set there. I don't think the president is set here. But I do believe he needs to be the highest paid running back in the NFL. No question. Because I think he is the best running back uh, in the NFL. Uh, When you look at his ability to run and catch, be a complete running back, he's the best. Okay. So uh, tonight, uh, this is tomorrow. The Land of Lakes Farm Bowl. Go to thefarmbowl.com for more information. And it's free. If you're in town, going out yeah. there between 1 and 3 uh, at the hockey arena here uh, on campus at the University of Minnesota. So just like the fact that Notre Dame had to have its feet held to the fire by Michigan oh. to get back on the schedule, we need to pressure you to just show up and bowl without your <laughs> shoes and your ball and yes. just go out and bowl ready. Man. You should be able to use any ball and you still should be able to. throw what? well. What? Just get any shoes, any shoes, any ball, and just go out there. And you, you seriously, you don't, you don't. That's think? you know, that's that's like an archer. You know, say hey, just get up any bowl and just <laughs> yeah. shoot any arrow. Yeah, Drew, no, we've it heard all like the that. analogies. You, you know, heard, yeah, crayon. I'm, I'm a know. specialist. We, we, we've heard them all. I'm a specialist. <laughs> you know, I'm not just a, the average bowler. You know, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm a high you? level. You're saying it's beneath you. I'm a high level. Wow. I love a it sounds like he's saying he's too yeah, good guys, to come bowling got, you know, with us. You guys want to go grab a couple beers and, you know. Yes, that's what we want to do. Yes. Get a slice and then y'all want to yeah. <laughs> Not quite that way for me. <laughs> not quite that I mean, way for me. On. I'm not a slice kind of guy. When I get out there, I'm, I'm lacing them up. I'm going to work, mm. and I'm going to talk about you the whole the <laughs> very hey, Rich, could you and I combine yes. beat Jerome Bettis? I think so. See, that's, therein lies the problem. He's thinking. See, he <laughs> thinks. When he thinks, it goes bad. He needs to stick to the script. <laughs> stay in line. Jerome, don't you think. To, you really need to show up tonight. Mm. Can we over? Can we get he's your ball here in time? time. Wait, I know I'm this saying, man. I hear how he's you, talking. He's not going to do it. It's not. That's the problem. Would you? Weak. It's weak sauce. That's not. He, he's he's an artist, as we heard. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. And we're that's and we're bad. And we're and we're drawing with a Crayola, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, good to see you. Good to see you. At Jerome Bettis 36 on Twitter. I follow him. You should as well. TheFarmBowl.com for more information on hanging out with JB. See you soon, bud. See you soon. You got it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.